right hello everyone welcome back to this crochet with me episode four or crochet with lala take a guess at what i'm making can you tell what this is by looking at it a little sneak peek to next next week's tutorial but this the bikini bottom i'm making a checkered bikini set because i think it'll be super cute wait let me do this next bro really quick this checkered stuff when you're increasing and decrease decreasing it's like you really have to like think it through so that you maintain the checkered look i've had to like restart a few times For this crochet with me, I wanted to talk about mindset, right? Because I think that's something that you don't learn through school or even your parents sometimes, but they actually. I did have this class in my high school, or it was like a section in my English class where we did talk about mindset, but like no one paid it any mind because it was like easy and we like disregarded the whole thing, right? I'm also reading this book, Mindset, by Carol Dweck, it's for this book club I'm in. And I don't know, I I feel like this is something that like can really set you up for success. The way that you think about yourself and the way that you think about like situations that are thrown at you. Not even just like looking at things only in a positive light or anything, but like looking at yourself as you're able to do something, you know? Not just for like, the bragging purposes of like, oh look, I'm gonna, what's an example? I'm the best cold brew maker because you're trying to impress other people. I think it more comes from the fact that you're trying to be the best one because you genuinely want to be it. When you genuinely want something and you work for it, I think that's when you actually get better results. Yeah, I think it all comes down to your mindset on whether you're gonna do something really well or not. Like if you want to be an artist, like a singer or something, I feel like sometimes people feel like, oh, you want to be like a singer and they don't really like support you. People will not support you in the beginning of things, which is really sad sometimes, but they'll support you once you've done something. You say you want to be a singer, but then they're like, oh, okay, that's cool. They don't like, they're like whatever about it. But then once you start like getting fans and you start like rolling the ball and getting some momentum and like becoming like a little more well known I feel like it's more common for people to then be like oh I'm you know reach out to you more for things I also wanted to say like sometimes it can be really hard to find people who have the same genuine interest as you right because we're all like very different the things that we like what our goals can be and I don't I don't think it's like before I used to think like, oh, I need to find someone who's doing something that I'm doing so that I can have someone who's like supporting me, someone like me so that we can be friends and like do cool things together. But I think at the end of the day, it's more important to find people who have the same drive as you. Like if you're really trying to do something big in life or like to try to do something different out of the normal, or even if you're doing like something normal like you want to just like be a lawyer or a doctor or something but you don't have any friends who or you don't know anyone who else anyone else trying to be a lawyer or a doctor or like do what you're trying to do i think it's more important to find people who will just support you or who will like care to listen to what you have to say about things than people who are doing the same thing as you right and even if there's no one there that's like really trying to support your interests or they don't care, then after that, all you have is yourself. So your number one supporter is gonna be you because that, like only you really know what you wanna do, right? And if no one's there to listen or to care, I don't think that should stop you from doing those things you're like truly interested in. I think you just have to keep your head up, be your own, cheerleader because i've kind of like done that before i don't know <laughs> i've been like the person to be like wow wow that's how you're like really talented like this is really good like i'm cool because like sometimes no one's gonna tell you that so you have to tell yourself like you have to be your best 
the best supporter. It's also like your biggest supporter is always just gonna be yourself because no one's ever gonna like, oh my gosh, my yarn almost fell in the coffee. It like grazed it. But no one's ever gonna fully know what you're trying to do in life. And sometimes I feel like you're not supposed to really tell people, right? Like your goals and aspirations sometimes because maybe some people like wish bad on you and stuff like that. But that's why like at the end of the day, the only person who has your back who knows what you're trying to get to is yourself so like whatever your goals are in life you know i think it's important to like acknowledge them and not just try to like do the basic thing in life and just like oh I'll this is what i did i gave myself like so many excuses at least for like starting this channel and stuff i remember before i started it i told myself okay when I have this amount of money and like this amount of free time, then I'll start my YouTube channel where I show people when I how I make all my cool things and stuff. But you know, like if I actually listened to that, it probably would have been years until I actually had the time to do it, right? Or had enough money to be like, okay, now I'm gonna do YouTube. But if you have like a goal in your life, I think there's always a way that you can start working on it. Like now, you know, start implementing little increments of it. Like if you wanna, I don't know, be an artist, be a singer, like you can start learning and like start singing and like writing your things now. And the thing is like, you don't have to tell everyone about it. You know, you can, do these things for yourself, for your own practice, for your own good. And I would say like even, excuse me, just like share it when you're ready. Cause like having people look down on you for what you're doing, I think stops a lot of people. Like having people not support you stops people. Having no one who like takes you seriously stops people. I'm doing things that they actually want to do. Something else I want to talk about from schooling, I think there's just like a lot of, like I'm done with school, <laughs> but now that I look back on it and I was like talking to Hisham about things and stuff, it's like there's so much pressure by a lot of parents to just succeed academically and sometimes I feel like the creative side and the creative learning, you're like learning about yourself and stuff is kind of like pushed to the back and no one's really trying to talk about it or do anything with it. It's really just like get good grades so that you could have a good life, right? I also think that like a lot of those careers, like the STEM based careers, like the classic careers like that are really like pushed by school and probably by our parents. It's because that's what they were in in their lifetime and that's what they saw as being the most successful, the most stably successful rather than like doing something out of the normal. It's because your parents and your teachers, like they are probably doing those careers. That's why they push it on to you. But I think it should be not looked down upon if you want to do something out of the norm, you know, to like, know that like just because you're not gonna have a classic career doesn't mean like you won't be successful you can be successful in whatever you do as long as you have the right mindset that's what i think as long as you have the right mindset to keep pushing and making sure that you're gonna be the best that you can be in whatever you choose to fully be i keep getting like more like ideas of what to talk about after i turned off the camera but i think the whole like the biggest part too of why those traditional careers were like pushed onto people is because back then having like the internet as accessible as big as as it is now wasn't a thing but like those are my neighbors but like now that we have the internet there's like new things that we're able to do like right now i'm literally filming a youtube video and that wasn't a thing before. Like people make whole careers from their YouTube and from things that they do online. Having a podcast, being, I don't know, like a, 
like a YouTuber, like online things are now a big option for people to be like, you can have a career that wasn't possible before. And I think, I don't know what they're teaching in school now, but at least in a few years, like having an online career is something that will maybe even be like more talked about. But there's so much more to like a person than like getting straight A's. Like he was talking about like his like friends that he, or people he knew, would know where it's like your parents are so focused on you getting good grades or you being like the best in your class to be the best you know you academically that it's like you don't have any creative activity or any thoughts like all you know is school and for me like when I went to school there was never like classes on freaking making clothes or even like a cooking class or anything like I think in elementary school there was a band I was pretty I'm pretty sure I was in the band but in, I remember in my middle school there was like literally no real extracurricular creative activities I feel like there's so much of a push to just do the academic basics like math English science history all that but I remember we had a music class but we didn't do anything had a did we have a tech class didn't really do anything as a kid, I feel like you are really limited in what you're gonna find out about your creative joys through school. Like you have to kind of do it yourself because there's no, like you're not given always the opportunity to find things you're really interested in through school. I remember in high school, like I studied abroad in Spain and it was amazing, right? But they had a freaking, they had a, like a, a fashion class where they were like making clothes and everything and i was like why don't i have that because that's something i definitely would have taken you know but i don't know where i'm going with all this i don't know what i'm talking about <laughs> so i'm just gonna end off this video there because i felt like i was like rambling about like everything that was on my mind for some reason but i hope you liked this little crochet with me Crochet with la la. Yeah. But if you have like anything to add to the conversation or any like thoughts of things that I was talking about, please let me know. Leave me a comment. Start a little convo, you know. But yeah. I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. If you want to see this bikini, see you in the next video. But yeah. Thank you for watching. Well, I'll see you the next one. Peace.